podcast alert. Blizzard warning. Blizzard warning. Shelter immediately. Shelter immediately. Roads impassable. Dangerous wind chills. Blizzard warning. Blizzard warning. Seek shelter. Keep your emergency radio tuned to this frequency. That's great. Batteries are dead. Can't get the generator to start. Solar is useless because of the snow. I am out of power. And my phone is down to 15%. I'm not going to be able to leave here for at least a few days. Time to get the bolt brush out. Now I've got a way to charge my phone and it is charging. All right, guys. Well, luckily I really didn't lose power, but uh, this is a product that is so cool. I've never seen anything like it before. And I wanted to be one of the first people to share this with you. Uh, this is a salt water power bank. It never, ever needs to be charged. You never need to plug it in. It doesn't require solar. All you need is salt water and you've got emergency backup power for low voltage devices. Now, this isn't gonna go power your cabin. This is gonna power your phone, a small LED light. It only puts out between 15 and 20 watts of power, and it lasts a few hours before the electrolyte, the salt water is exhausted, and then you have to fill it up with uh, salt water again. But this is the ultimate off-grid uh, backup power source um, as long as you have some salt or water or it will even work on ocean water you can create power without any kind of reliance on the grid on solar on anything else so this is pretty neat if you want uh, backup uh, to, to bring with you camping backpacking on a boat somewhere uh, off grid even in your house maybe you live in an apartment and you don't have the ability to have uh, you know backup solar or anything like that so I'm going to show you how it works. Um, included in the package is the Volt Rush capsule. Uh, you also get a accessory bag. Uh, in that accessory bag are extra electrodes. Uh, you get uh, some devices to clean the unit, um, a measuring spoon, a little mixing uh, bag to put the water and the salt in there to mix it up before you pour it in there, and a carrying strap and basically everything you need. This is extremely light. Um, I mean, this only weighs, I think, empty maybe a couple pounds. And it does come with a carrying strap so you could carry it with you or throw it in a backpack, keep it in the trunk of your car, whatever you want to do. Uh, and to, to make it work, uh, it's the same principle as a normal battery. You've got an electrode, which is the metal plate, and then you've got a electrolyte, which is the uh, salt water. So. Um, all you have to do is put those two things together and there's a chemical reaction that creates electricity. So we're going to go ahead and try this out. I'm going to take the mixing bag here. Now it requires 45 grams of salt, which is about two and a half tablespoons. They give you this measuring cup too. I don't know if that's quite the right size. So I've got a measuring uh, tablespoon here. We're going to go ahead and, and put the salt in there and we'll see where it goes to. And actually, it looks like it's going to be about right. So this is two tablespoons and then a half. Yep, there you go. So essentially what you want to do is with this included measuring cup, just basically fill this up with salt. 
And then it's going to take about, uh, the math I did, about 13 and a half ounces of water. So basically a water bottle of water. Uh, so it can use, again, any water. You can get this out of a, you know, a stream, whatever it might be. I'm going to go ahead and put my water in there. And you'll see it is almost full. I'm going to go ahead and put the salt in here. Try not to spill that all over. All right. And then we're going to give it a nice little shake. I'm going to try and get all this um, salt dissolved, which doesn't take long. And the bag is translucent, so I can actually see if there's any salt on the bottom or if it is all dissolved, which looks like it is already all dissolved. Um, I've already got my electrodes inserted in here, and there's two of them here. You can actually see they've got um, metal panels in there. So you got your electrodes in there. You just simply add the liquid right here. So we've got our salt water solution. And go ahead and pour that right in. All right. And you can't hear this. I just heard a very quiet cooling fan just started up. So we've got power already. We're going to go ahead put the cap back on, buckle it in, seal it up, and let's go ahead and turn this on and see what we've got. Oh, we've got a green light here, hitting the power button. And it is on and ready to go. So uh, let me go ahead and plug in my phone. And look at that, I am charging. Incredible. That is really, really cool. All based on salt water. Now I'm gonna try another test. Um, I actually have a five watt LED light bulb right here. It's a USB powered uh, light. I normally have it plugged into my solar. I'm gonna plug it right into the Volt Rush here. And look at that running right off of uh, salt water. That is pretty cool, lighting off of salt water. And this says right now that it is five watts, which is exactly what uh, that is supposed to pull down, is five watts. So that is that is really, really cool. Now the unit is um, uh, very compact. Again, uh, the front display, the green light means that you've got plenty of power. Um, you hit the button here once, it turns on the display. It will show you the state of charge and how much power is being used. If you want to turn that display off, you can do that and it will uh, go to sleep. And on the back of the unit is where you have your input and output uh, ports. Uh, for output, again, you have two USB-Cs, two USB-As. Each one of these is rated for 15 watts of output, regardless if it's USB-C or USB-A. And then on this side, you have um, the ability to charge the unit, um, and, and the directions aren't very clear. It says that you can use it with solar or a power input for additional capacity, so I'm assuming that means you can charge it, uh, but USB-C input. And then at the bottom is a DC5521 port, so if you have a DC adapter, for instance, like on a camera uh, or maybe a drone or something else, you can plug that in there to charge your camera with that 5521 port. But it also says that you can use that as a input port um, as well. And uh, that is rated at 45 watts. Uh, so that's uh, interesting. It sounds like you might be able to get a little bit of extra power if you're using the uh, DC output there. So again, the specs of this, it is, uh, you know, very small. It's, a, it's roughly... A, 12 in, not even 12 inches high, about 8 or 10 inches high by about 6 inches wide. It weighs just over 2 pounds, very, very lightweight. 
And again, this will run for anywhere between two to three hours before you have to replenish the saltwater solution, the electrolyte, because at that point it will be depleted. Um, you can plug in multiple devices. Unfortunately, I don't have multiple devices with me right today to test uh, the, the total output. Uh, but, you know, one of the, the reasons you're going to use this is for emergency power. I mean, the idea is so cool. If man, you could just use a, a resource like salt water and have unlimited power, that would be awesome. Uh, but there is a chemical reaction happening in here. The, the salt water is actually uh, interacting with the electrode. And these electrodes are rated for about 30 to 40 hours of use before uh, they, I guess, start to dissolve and need to be replaced. So again, you do get an extra set of electrodes uh, with this unit. Uh, but keep in mind that this is a consumable. And that's what's generating the electricity is this chemical reaction between the electrolyte, the saltwater solution, and the electrode, uh, which is this, this uh, metal uh, panel right here as well, too. Uh, would be really neat if you live by the ocean. You could just go grab a uh, uh, bottle of salt water out of the ocean port right in here, and you've got power. Again, if you're just using regular water and uh, a scoop of salt, you get the same thing at home. And honestly, real-world application for this, again, it's going to power uh, small devices like phones, um, maybe a, a USB light, uh, maybe a, a camera, um, you know, those sorts of things. It's not going to have enough power to charge your laptop, um, power your, your home, provide AC power, anything like that. Uh, but really, this is sort of the ultimate, uh, when it hits the fan, backup thing here, because when all else fails, you could just take some salt and some water and have uh, emergency power to pack up, uh, to power up your communications, which is, which is really cool. Um, and again, if, if you're not off grid, if you're living in an apartment, maybe you don't have the ability to have um, a solar power station or anything like that. This is something, you know, you could throw in the closet with uh, some flashlights and uh, some other emergency supplies that you always have a way to charge your phone um, if you need it. And knowing that you had the ability to run this for 30 to 40 hours on a set of electrodes, you know, you could repower your phone many, many times with that, which is, which is pretty cool. Even something you could keep in the back of the car, uh, I'm assuming you could probably pre-mix the saline solution, the saltwater solution, and store it, and that way it's not going to freeze, right? So you could keep a bottle of the uh, saltwater solution right in your vehicle if it's in the wintertime. It won't freeze because it's salt water. You pour it in here, and then you're able to uh, use the device. So pretty cool. Um, I'm sure this technology is is just getting started, and it'll be really, really neat to see what happens with this in the future. I'm starting to see uh, sodium ion power banks out there. A few companies are making those. Those are obviously uh, not self-generating power. You have to recharge them through solar or AC power. But this is actually self-generating power, and I can only imagine what's going to happen um, in the coming years as this technology advances. And it's so cool to be able to show this for the first time on this channel. Hopefully you guys found it really interesting as well too. Uh, if you have any questions about the unit, feel free to drop me a line and if I can answer them, I will. I'll put some more information in the description so you can check that out as well if you're interested in learning more about the Volt Rush capsule. And I uh, hope you found it interesting, but um, until next time, uh, life is short, get outdoors, and hopefully we'll see you back here on Hemlock Ridge.